Well, we just received a package and I've already cut it, the box open. And this is the hammock that I ordered. Zippy bag. Let's see what's in this bag here. Try to do this with one hand. Got some tree straps. Throw some string with some stakes, tent stakes. Be the hammock with the mosquito net, and in this bag here is going to be the rain fly. So let me just take this outside and uh, set it up, and then I'll, I'll show you what it's like. This end, and it's got multiple loops on the other end. This side, the netting is sewn in. There's a pocket on this side. On this side, there's this big pocket. This is where the zipper is for the netting. These are not 
YKK zippers. They clean off right smooth, though. I'm definitely gonna have to hang this higher before I try to get in. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. Yeah, I should take my shoes off. It's gonna work just fine. Here, put your zipper. I feel like the other way. That's good enough for now. No mosquitoes can get me. This is actually supposed to be a double hammock. And two people could be in here. But it's made for one. We could snuggle up in here. Two people. But I really rather not because I think it'd be pretty tight. Okay, let's get that rain fly. It's in a nice little bag. Now we'll talk about the brand on this. I think it was, I'll, I'll have to look again. It wasn't a big brand name. Uh, cost me about, I think it was $46. I'll put more details in here later. And just by opening this, I'm going to say, well, it might be bigger than I'm thinking. We'll just have to see. That's silver on that side. Yeah. It could reflect heat with it. There's a loop on the inside of the netting and this is supposed to go through that loop and this goes actually on the inside of the netting. I'm no way I understand it. Okay, there is a dual zipper on this too, so that's good. See, there is a yellow tab right here. If I understand it right, I slide this through there. Squirrels playing in the trees. Looks to me like you'd be able to leave this in there too. Get it in there.
Quick it comes with some instructions. And this is what I just did right here. Okay, there's two ways to do this. There's one way, it's just to put the loop on our hook. say you could take and go to your tree to get higher if you wanted. loop on each end of these. They're stretchy.
That is stretchy rope. it set up. You just pull it out, it brings it up, and it's almost touching the rank light all the way around. It's almost like it's sealed now. Yeah. Same thing on this side. And this stretch is enough that you can get in. I like it. I'm gonna be on. I really think this tarp should be a little bit long. Let me grab you on and get you a closer look. I realize it took me a while to get it set up, but this was the first time. The straps are long enough that you could uh, put around a pretty good sized tree. Luckily I have this for our home hammock that I can use to test this stuff. And you can see that the hammock, or the rain fly, is just right over the end of the hammock which might be all right and you've got two where well, it's looped through the seams got three seams there sewn in and like I said the the netting is sewn on this end it looks like a single hem on this side and as you can see up here when you st I stake the string it pretty much closed the gap you got a little bit of a spot here that's not sealed it does come up to the very end of the hammock on this end too don't think no rain's gonna get in there and I said from this side it's pretty much sealed up and then you got this side here that's sealed up you could pull this tighter if I wanted and that's the double hammock I said two people could get in there but that looks really cozy for a single one and there's a pocket on that side over there and then you got your pocket on this side here now they did give, there's another string, and I'm actually thinking that that might be able to be used as a, as two strings. I'm not sure, I'm going to have to look at the instructions. I thought maybe there would be another ridge line to drape this over. But it looks like it doubles the ridge line that's with the hammock. So, what do y'all think? Was it worth $46? I guess we'll know if we use it. If I get use out of it, it's definitely worth $46. So our other hammocks don't have the mosquito net. And I'm telling you, in the forest we hot, uh, pretty much any forest you go to, you're going to need it. Even right now in the backyard, I don't know if you can see them, there's little mosquitoes flying around. There's one right there on my hand. They're bad in my backyard. We are going to purchase one more of these. Like I said, maybe not this one. We may get a different brand, a little more expensive brand maybe. Uh, our hammocks that we have now don't have the mosquito fly. Uh, and we've used them several times, but we got them things on sale. They're Walmart hammocks. And I think we gave like $10 for them. So we've already got our usage out of that, but this is pretty good setup. The rain should just run right off that. And I said uh, if you wanted to lift that up off of this, and I probably will, I'll put, and that may be what these other two straps are for, is you can go ahead and tie that off up higher. In fact, I'm going to do that in here in just a second and then take some pictures of it.